In this video, we're going to tag Rasmus Christensen's Game Changer Craw. Crawflies are a must-have for all warm water fishermen chasing bass of any kind, while also being a go-to pattern for trout of all sizes especially the big ones. The Game Changer platform helps this crawl pattern swim ultra realistically while still being easy to tie. I'm gonna start with a number one Kona Universal Strong Streamer hook in the vise. Next, I'm gonna make a mouth, or whatever you would call it, for a crawfish with faux bucktail. Next, I'm going to tie in those super easy DIY shrimp and crawfish eyes that we made in a previous video. We'll make sure we link that video in the description of this video. Next, we're going to make a dubbing ball out of Latera's Magnum dubbing. This is going to hold the antennas and the pinchers out. Next, we're going to tie in some antennas out of Silly Legs. For the next step, we're going to palmer some Schloppen right behind the dubbing ball and the antennas. For the next step, we're going to tie in two rabbit strips for pinchers. Next, we're going to do like an underbody with an EP sparkle brush. Next, we're going to do another collar of Schloppen. But since we're building this on like a game changer type of platform, we definitely want the longer Schloppen. For the next step, we're going to insert a 25mm articulated fish spine into the eye of the hook. Next, we're going to do another collar of Schloppen. Again, the pretty long webby stuff but we're going to get shorter and shorter as we go. Just creating a profile. For the next step, we're going to tie in some medium Palmer chenille. This is root beer color.
And the next step, you guessed it, another collar of Schlappen, but we're going a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter fibered than the last one. For the next step, we're going to insert a 20 millimeter articulated fish spine into the 25 millimeter we just finished. For the next step, we're going to tie in a medium gold shrimp and cray tail. Now we want to make sure we tie it in on the opposite side that the hook point is on. So if my hook point is down, I'm going to go ahead and tie it on the top right here. And for this final shank, we're going to do basically the same process as we did on the previous shank. We're going to start by tying in a slop and feather that's just a little bit shorter fiber than the previous one we just finished. Next, we're going to tie in the Palmer chenille again. And we're going to finish this off with one last collar of the shortest schloppen we've tied in yet. And you have Rasmus Christensen's finished Game Changer Curl.